Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Critics Hub. Today, we're going to deep dive into Otaku Elf Episode 3. Yeah, I know. So sit back, relax, and hit subscribe. At bago tayo magkalimutan, guys. Alright? Would you also like, this, like and share this video? Thank you so much. Let's get on with the nitty gritty of this one, guys. I really want to start it now. Face! The thing about slice of life animes that uh, the, that up to now at my age that keep me want uh, for more of them uh, is the slow but the slow but chill pacing. I I felt that in this episode, especially during um uh, during the first story. Opo, the multi story format sa episode na to. So do I have complaints? Absolutely not, guys. Because, uh, like I said a while ago, I absolutely felt those um. Uh, I absolutely felt that I was watching a slice of life anime. Okay, uh, there, there there were life lessons to be learned. There was um yeah, funny moments. Kasi hindi mo wala sa sa mga slice of life anime yun eh. Kung maga. Uh, it's it's pre-built already into their system. Flow naman. Tignan ko mo. <laughs> Paano dun? First gear shift or biggest gear shift of the first story was when Elta started talking about how uh, how ice was um, was stored during the Edo period. Why did I call this a gear shift? Because kasi nung time na yun, hindi pa uso yata ang shade ice. Yung uh, mga kinakain natin na, 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 may, na may mga yellow like uh, like in Japan there's uh, yan, shaved ice here in the Philippines we got halo halo tamang tama summer ngayon and yung mga yung mga, 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 mga samalamig yep we got shaved ice in that one too but bukod pa sa history lesson you can all, you can also feel Elda um, opening her shell a little bit wider in this one kasi uh, you can absolutely feel the freedom uh, she she has right now in telling these stories to her new Miko si, si Koy Tunga she's more than willing to uh, to give her new friend and guardian a history lesson 400 years worth of history po ito guys okay remember that this was also the gear shift that triggered uh, triggered the binge eating session scene in a way, yeah. Final gear shift, the biggest one of the second story, was when Elda tripped during Corto's succession ritual. Bukod pa sa bagay yung funny moment ito, I see this as a gear shift. Bakit? Kasi, um, in a sequence prior to this one, sinabi na ni Elda that, um, in a way, amongst all the rituals that uh, that um, that has uh, that she has seen over the years, the succession ritual is the one that uh, she really wants to see through. Because uh, her reasoning was this was for her new Miko. You can see the um, the determination Elda has now. Uh, she showed here that when it comes to the succession ritual, she's all business, and of course. She always has that goal of uh, of eating afterwards. Kasi yun nga yung kasi yung pinako ng succession ritual kasi ganun. So these two gear shifts that I saw itin <clears throat> If you're a true otaku you would watch any episode from start to finish. You would not uh, even dare to watch just two scenes or the two gear shifts I just mentioned here. Hey, kasi gear shifts do not totally explain the episode. They're, they just serve as markers, plot wise. Um, sipe. Planchado ang plot, guys. So well ironed out plot, kasi. Uh, the first two episodes uh, concentrated on just one story. Pero, uh, 
bigla-biglang nag-multi-story nag, nag format ang anime na to dito. And, um, dapat siguro na, 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 na nag-multi-story format sila dito. Kasi, the first story was actually something that's not to be expounded upon it. Because, yeah, it's a simple binge eating session by Koito and Elda. Pero, with, with hilarious results actually. So, you have to, you have to shorten that story as much as possible. Para, uh, yung, yung comic elements nito ay totally magets ng tao. Then, second story came along. Medyo talagang medyo slice of life na talaga ang dating ng second story. Pero yung, yung uh, the transition in between stories, it's quite commendable. Uh, I didn't feel a hard break between them. Eh. So, well, if I don't feel any hard breaks, then I can say it's a well ironed out plot. Superbly well, superbly ironed out plot, to be exact. So, face flow and plot. It all came together for this episode, folks. So, Otaku Elf, episode 3. Yeah, no brainer. Two thumbs up! Final order of business, the thumbnail. This is probably um, um, the cutest moment in, uh, in this episode, at least. <clears throat> if not for the entire anime. Alright? Kasi talagang binge eating session yung ginawa ni nila L. Koito rito eh. So, one, uh, one food thing led to another eh. Parang ganun yan eh. So, Siyempre, uh, umamin si L. na may tina, may, uh, for, for hiding, hiding those food things to, from, uh, from Koito. And then eventually, she, um, she let the, she let, some cats out of the bag, so to speak. May mga tinago rin pala siya yung ibang pagkain nun na, na in order niya through meal in previous days. So yun, that's when, that's when the binge eating session actually started. Sunod-sunod na yan. Grabe. But, um, would you agree with me guys that this is an absolute bonding moment for the two main pro tags? So are we gonna... Still, keep tabs on Otako Elf. Absolutely. It's another great one. Pero, uh, it's the first time that this anime took on a multi-story format. Took on the multi-story approach in, in an anime episode. So, medyo kakaibang ginawa nila ngayon. And, it's quite refreshing. It's telling us uh, what, what to expect now of this anime. In the meantime, watch the other reviews on this, uh, on this playlist. Okay, guys? Don't worry, Otaku Elf isn't the only anime on this roster, okay? Para di kayo maburyong. <laughs>